This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV. We're in Hollywood here, not Berry, <laughs> at the Wildcard Gym. Let's show where we are. Sorry. Um, with me, I've got WBA World Champion Scott Quigg. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? You sound How are you? You're sounding a bit. You find, your voice is sounding a bit yeah, raw. Your voice is just about back. <laughs> a little bit of like ten percent huskiness in it, but it's back. Um, we was at the press conference yesterday for uh, Angulo and uh, Canelo. And uh, Joe Gallagher, your trainer, was in the ear hole of uh, Leo Santa Cruz like the whole time. Watch out! So, uh, <laughs> what did he say about it? Well, I was supposed to be attending this uh, myself, and, and somebody trainer blanked my phone call. But <laughs> you know, to the phone to you? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't give him a ring. I was going to come down and have a nosy about, see who was knocking about, and he blanked my phone call. So, so there could have been some sort of. Uh, but like you could have met Santa Cruz, uh, couldn't I, I you? Th I think I know why he's blanking me though, but... Yeah? I'll tell you after. Oh, you can tell me after. <laughs> but uh, no, we spoke to him and that, and uh, I've, interview I've interviewed him before. Is that Joe? No, he's got a gamble. Oh my God. Make sure you put the handbrake on, Scott. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've spoke to um, Santa Cruz before, yep. uh, back in May last year, and uh, he kind of, he was talking about Frampton, but now he's obviously aware of you, and um, I don't know if he's seen you fight or not, I did ask him, like, if you and Frampton were to fight, who do you think would be, I don't think he's seen enough of the pair of you to, to sort of answer that, but um, it's, it's a fight further down the line, isn't it? Yeah, it's a unification yeah. fight. I mean, it's definitely they're the fights you know you want. Like, they're the fights you want to be in. You know, this is why you know you, you bring yourself out here to get the quality sparring to improve you as a fight, so you, you know you can compete at that level. Get that on camera. Just crashed into our car. Yes. He's actually really bad. <laughs> He's actually a bad driver. You shouldn't let him drive out here. Oi, Cardo. That wasn't my fault, was it? You're the worst <laughs> fucking driver I've ever seen in my life. Man, I'm not a left-hand driver killer guy. I'm a fucking British man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, um, yeah, you were saying this is why you come out here for that yeah. level of sparring. This is what you, you know, I say. You come out here to improve yourself as a fighter and you, know, you want to compete at that level. So you've been out here for two and a half weeks? No, no. Have oh, you been here longer? Yeah, yeah, I come out a week before, uh, get some good running in, you know, because it's, it's totally different. The climate out here and it's like you want to go over there jet lagging and I would have had three good weeks of proper spar hard sparring. Mm. What, what kind of guys have you been sparring with out here? You've been sparring with, you know, Filipinos, Mexicans, Americans, all, you know, they've all got their own style, so you, you, it's like when you get in with them, you're not... So you get in with them in a fight, it's not a shock. You know, you know the rhythm of them, you know what they like throwing in. You're in and around the gyms and you're, you know, you're seeing things and you're picking little things up, what other fighters do. Mm. I wouldn't expect you to uh, remember any of their names because you barely remember my name at times. Because no. when I just saw you in there, you were like... <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> There's Freddie Roach there. It's cool. Um, has, has he been giving any advice, Freddie Roach? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I was done the pad with him, you know, and sparring these guys and you know, saying his good work, giving me advice, and you know, you, you can't ask for more than that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. To get advice and be, you know, allowed to spar some of these guys because you think you're giving them good work, and that, you know, that's what you, you know, it makes it gives you a bit of a confidence boost. Mm. Not like I need one. <laughs> um, your next fight date will be in Manchester. Yeah. In April. Yep. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. You just don't want to say the wrong thing, do you? I always say the right thing, don't I? Who, um, any opponents being touted for your uh, uh, next defence? Yeah, but I can't remember his name. The... Rigondo? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no uh, I can't remember the... Uh, there's a couple of names in that, you know, we, we, was, we did want Kiko, but he signed to fight Asigawa. Mm. Uh, but I think we've got someone in the pipeline that I don't know if I can say it yet or not, so... Do you know what, in doubt, don't say it. Because what happens is, we interview, we're like, we, 
Then I get a phone call from your promoter. Yep. <laughs> it could be either one of your promoters, Gallagher or Hearn, because he's like a promoter to you, I've just realised, uh, telling me to take that down. So maybe you shouldn't mention it. What else have you been doing in your time in LA? With me, I'm like a, I'm an hermit, and I don't, all I do is train. You know, you know what, you're, if, you're, if, you're if, worried if that Bev's going to be watching no, this, no. isn't you? <laughs> you are, no. you? If, if you see, most of the photos when the lads are at the beach or having something sweet, I'm not on them. Yeah, do you know what? Funnily enough there, when they tweeted a picture, Joe yeah. tweeted one of like his million pictures he's tweeted yeah. yesterday. I did notice that you I weren't there. Home. I thought, what do you do then? You I sit train, there on your own? I sleep, I eat and I train. And yeah? And that's it. I'm one of them. I'm, I'm just an easy... Listen, I've always one thing I stick by. Would you consider back. yourself like when you're in training mode a bit boring? Yeah, that's the thing is that I'm a stick by this and I've said it since I was a kid. You know, if you want to get to the top and... And you want to, you've got, boxing's a lonely sport. And there's one thing that a boxer has to deal with in training, is boredom. And then, listen, and that's that sum of that, you know, sometimes you feel, you're sat at home and you're bored. But you need to be sat there and you need to be resting. The easiest way to get over boredom is go to sleep. Mm. And I can I sleep, I can switch myself off and go to sleep. And it, it's just must be over the years that I've learned how to do it. Because that's what I, say, I tell anyone. You want to be the best. You've got to, there's many sacrifices you've got to make, and one of and you've got to be able to deal with boredom, and that's something you know that's I stick by. It's a very professional attitude. It's not. I, I quite believe. I what's quite got believe. me here so far, you know, the way I've lived my life so far, has got me to where I am. So I'm not going to change now. When you know, so what, listen, what I, you might, what? I don't go out. Listen, if I go out, I might like going out. So. If I don't know how good it is, or if I don't like it, I won't. It doesn't matter, does it? If so you I haven't had it, it, you don't know what you've missed. Yeah. So basically, you're saying that you was a bit of a hermit in Bar- Berry, and now you're a bit of a hermit in LA or wherever Listen, you are. Wherever I'm put, all I do here is just want to train that. It's a routine, it's I, life. Listen, I know you're just saying this because Bev might be watching this. No. And you're thinking, <laughs> like, as soon as I you. Get, well, he, calls, he, calls, he calls his murders with me, Bev, because he calls me boring. So you want to go out the weekend oh, as well. Oh, we'll go out, we'll go to cinema tonight and I'll just, uh, I'll be asleep. Hmm. Listen, sleep's my best friend. That's all right. Listen, you're, uh, you're getting there, aren't you? So you've got, a, you've got a journey you need to follow. So whatever you need to, you feel like you need to follow that journey, you need to do it. So it doesn't make no difference me trying to drag you to strip clubs at <laughs> three in the morning. I haven't been to a strip club yet. To be honest, I've only been here three days, so. No time. <laughs> there's still a lot, there's still a lot of things to do. But, um, Have you been to uh, your, the Thai massages? There's one round now? Yeah, well... Isn't there? Yes. There's, they're all over the place. <laughs> there's one just now. Mm-hmm. You see, down these steps, uh, there's a massage place. Hello, Joe. Hi, mate. All right. Um, can you just explain to us why uh, you didn't answer the phone to him yesterday when he was trying to ring you to come to the press conference? No, I did phone him. But he didn't answer the phone because he was paying for something and he didn't return the call. And when he did, my phone was dead. Right, you lying bastard, because that's not what you just told I me. I returned the call. I returned the I returned you. Yeah, you were paying for something, ignore oh, yeah. the call. And I rang him two minutes later. Coogan. Right. <laughs> no, we don't. It's all right, Joe. No, 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 I think it's quite conclu- no, no, no. conclusive what's happened here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Joe never rang me. I tried to phone him. He's, he rang me and then he didn't answer my call. No, I'll say that call's missed. Are you saying his call's Craig's call missed there? Do you know what? No. There's Coogan. There's Coogan. I don't want to show any numbers. But no, 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 but there's no way Scott Craig's yeah, call. No, he's getting his phone out now. Yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, listen, you weren't there, but... Um, I'm not this. See? You've lost. No, I've not lost. I've not lost. You've lost. I've not lost. You've lost. No, I've not lost. I'll Did find I... a way to win, don't worry about that. <laughs> um, no, there you go. Yesterday, missed call, and then I rang so, him twice oh, after. Oh, so I called you? He called me. Right, you can't see it. You can't see it. And then I rang him twice after. It's too dark. Too dark. Yeah. Must but, have been when my phone dead battery. Couldn't get it through. Oh. Got a voicemail. Got the voicemail. Why are you here? What, what, what did you say to Leo? Yesterday. Santa Cruz, yeah. Um, 
nothing just spoke to him. I says, uh, good luck in your fight. Um, um, listen, I trained Scott Quigg. That's a fight that we'd love to get on down the, li uh, down the line. Obviously, Quigg's got his fight coming up. Um, but we'd love to fight Santa Cruz before the end of the year in a unification with all three belts on the line. Mm. And Santa Cruz says, I'll fight whoever, whoever they bring to me. So that's it. So uh, I've got some stick today I see on Twitter because um, I mentioned Santa Cruz that we're going after the Carl Frampton route. What route? We're the world title. We're at the top. He's lane changing. There's a kid in the gym behind me, Chris Avalos. If you interview him, that'll tell you that he's Carl Frampton pulled out fighting him for the IBF mandatory. We're getting on with our finger. So there you go. Shots filed. Pop, pop. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Scott. Yeah. There's many people get crashing my interview. What is going on? Right. Listen, Scott. Thank you very much for talking to. You just covered your face. And you've got a nice face. Here. Thanks for talking to IFL TV. We'll uh, catch up with you in your back. And uh, if you if you need uh, one of these. Just round the corner. It's called Tantric. <laughs> I'm fine. Do you want a message to Bev? Because uh, she might watch this. I spoke to her before, so no, I've already sent the message. Do a cringy message, I've already already message uh, to Bev. I've already sent the message. Just, just come on, Scott, Bev. Yeah. I'll be home boy. soon. <laughs> <laughs> Coogan Cassius, Eiffel TV, Scott Quigg. Thank you very much.